it's, it's at this point it's huge. Um, the cyclone actually came and, and the eye of the cyclone was over Chimani Mani for about three days. So we have never seen such destruction in our lives. Um, this is Mvumvumvu 1 bridge, which is damaged. We have Mvumvumvu 2, we have um, Biriwiri River Bridge, we have Musha, we have Chata, Nyaode River Bridge, we have a bridge at Machongwe, we have bridges across the district in Chikukwa, down in the Resitu Valley. Bridges have been damaged, roads have been swept away. We are talking about loss of life at the moment of about 65 people who have been confirmed. Um, we have many, many people missing. Unfortunately, we actually don't even know how many people are missing at this point in time. We are working currently with um, assistance from Chipinga Town Council and three brigades through Civil Protection Unit. We are working on access of the road from Jopa to Skyline, from Skyline to, 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 Nyao, what, sorry, to Charter so that we can open the road, bring in access, bring in aid, bring in tents. We need tentage, we need food, we need clothing. The, the, the circumstances are just huge. Um, the people who have lost their lives need to be buried properly. We need assistance. I know it has been claimed, um, sorry, it has been made into a national disaster and so the state will come in to assist, but the situation is terrible. Unfortunately, due to the cloud cover, we can't bring in helicopters to assist yet. We are just hoping and praying that it will clear so that we can bring in helicopters that are actually on standby in Chipinge and can come in at any time. So we are just waiting for the cloud cover to, to open up and allow us. The main area that's been affected that we are worried about is the copper area where the Rusitu, Valley, Rusitu River and the Nyaode River meet. We have had a serious disaster there where we have many people missing and we actually don't know the whole... Gata Police Camp, um, DDF Campus, the Ministry of Registry, all of that has been washed away. Agritex houses, we have lost government, so complexes, and we don't know where, where those workers are up to now. Unfortunately, we haven't managed to, to find out. So it's a very sad situation and a very dire one.